Breaking news. Hello, Lions fans. Get ready because this season is shaping up to be one of the most amazing. Jared Goff can lead the Lions to great failure. That's what you heard. But that's not all. Terry and Arnold shows a competitive spirit and impresses all the fans. Don't forget to leave a like and let's watch the video. The Detroit Lions took a huge leap forward last season, snagging the NFC North title and winning two playoff games before a tough loss in the NFC Championship game against the San Francisco 49ers. One area they looked to improve this offseason was their secondary, and they made a big move by drafting Alabama cornerback Terry and Arnold in the first round. The Lions' leadership, including general manager Brad Holmes and head coach Dan Campbell, showed their belief in Arnold's potential by moving up in the draft to secure him. While Arnold's true impact won't be known until he hits the field this preseason and regular season, one thing is clear. His competitive spirit is off the charts. He's even joked about not going easy on his own mom in a game. Arnold shared a funny story about his fierce competitive nature, saying, I'll never forget one time my mom kicked my tooth out because we were going at it so hard. So if my mom was out here right now and she lined up across from me as a receiver, I would jam her into the dirt. That's my mindset, and my mom knows that. It's all about football, and that's how I've always thought and been raised. Last year, the Lions' pass defense struggled, ranking 27th in passing yards allowed. Arnold is expected to help turn this around. Last season at Alabama, he impressed with five interceptions, 12 passes defensed, and 63 tackles, showcasing his ability to disrupt plays and tackle aggressively. Alongside Arnold, the Lions also drafted Ennis Rakestraw in the second round, aiming to transform their cornerback position from a liability into a strength. Both rookies will have to prove themselves in upcoming off-season activities and preseason games. Assistant GM Ray Agnew highlighted the competitive edge both players bring, saying, I'm sure Rakestraw thinks he's better and Terrian thinks he's better, so they're going to compete, which is great for us. We want players who are eager to compete and confident they'll earn their spot. Both guys believe they will start, but they've got their work cut out for them. It's time to talk about a critical decision hanging over the team, the future of quarterback Jared Goff. As the Lions' fortunes have increased, so have the stakes for this important contractual decision. The Detroit Lions are on a hot streak and things are looking up for a team that's often been stuck near the bottom of the league. Much of this recent success is thanks to quarterback Jared Goff, who, after a standout 2022 season, continued to impress in 2023 with 4,575 passing yards, 30 touchdowns, and only 12 interceptions. Jared Goff arrived in Detroit via a big trade with the Los Angeles Rams in 2021, and after a rocky start, he's really found his rhythm, throwing for over 4,400 yards and nearly 30 touchdowns in the last two seasons. Now, as his contract winds down, talks of an extension are heating up. It seems like a straightforward choice to keep a quarterback who's doing well, right? Well, not so fast. Extending Goff might look good now, but could trap the Lions later. Goff will turn 30 in October, and realistically, his days as a top-tier quarterback might be numbered, with maybe three good seasons left. That's if all continues well. But if Goff isn't single-handedly driving the Lions' success, a hefty new contract might just hold the team back. A big what-if hangs over these talks, too. What happens if Ben Johnson, the Lions offensive coordinator who's been a big part of Goff's success in Detroit, leaves for a head coaching job? Goff's worst year with the Lions was the one season without Johnson. So if Johnson exits and Goff's performance dips, a big new contract could become a massive headache. Imagine the Lions lock Goff into a four-year deal with a lot of guaranteed money, then Johnson departs, and Goff's performance takes a dive in 2025. That would be a disaster. If Detroit decides to reward Goff for his recent performances with a new contract, that's their call. But they better structure it with an escape hatch, allowing them to move on after a couple of years if things don't work out, especially if Johnson leaves in 2025. This careful planning could prevent a potential future mess and keep the Lions on their upward trajectory. That wraps up today's Lions update. We look at potential game changes on defense and address the big question on everyone's mind about Jared Goff's future. As we get closer to the season, every decision counts and we will be here to keep you informed. If you found this review helpful, click the like button, subscribe for more updates, and share your thoughts in the comments below.